In every season of Britain's Got Talent, there's always that one contestant who steals the spotlight from the moment they grace the stage. And in the latest season, all eyes are on none other than Sydney Christmas. With a name that instantly brings a festive cheer, Sydney won the audience's heart from the get-go. But it wasn't just a name that had everyone talking, it was a fearless choice of song, one that even Simon Cowell typically dreads. Luckily, Sydney hit those notes like a true-born singer and shocked everyone. However, as her popularity grew, so did scrutiny into her past. Revelations about her past came to light, leading to heightened scrutiny and criticism from the viewers. Join us as we uncover what Britain's Got Talent didn't tell you about Sydney Christmas. Sydney Christmas's captivating audition on Britain's Got Talent is currently making waves worldwide. With her charming and humorous introduction, she quickly became an easy favorite among viewers. Sydney cheekily told the judges that her middle name is Mary, making her full name Sydney Merry Christmas, on which they all shared a hearty laugh. Later, she clarified it wasn't exactly that. When Sydney told them she was going to sing Tomorrow from Annie, Simon visibly groaned. Despite Simon Cowell's skepticism about her song choice, Sydney remained undeterred, joking about her long history with the song since childhood. She said that she's singing this song after 24 years, to which Alicia said that she herself looks 24. Sydney dramatically said, no, she's 28, which made all the judges laugh out loud. She finished the conversation by saying that she hoped to sing it better than she did at four, again making everyone chuckle. Moments later, when she began to sing, accompanied by her supportive grandmothers in the audience, emotion soared. Her rendition of Tomorrow brought the crowd to silence, followed by thunderous applause and a standing ovation from all four judges, including Amanda Holden, who praised Sydney's natural charisma and the heartfelt beauty of her performance. Judge Bruno Tonioli started the string of praises by saying it wasn't just a performance, but an art. Amanda's admiration culminated in the ultimate recognition, the golden buzzer, propelling Sydney directly to the semi-finals. Both viewers and judges were moved by the experience, with one commenter describing it not as an audition, but as an extraordinary journey. Even Simon Cowell, who has mentioned several times in the show that he hates the song Tomorrow, said that she made him love it. Simon also congratulated Sydney on getting a well-deserving big break. When Sydney went off the stage and was hugging her family emotionally, Alicia said that she knew Sydney would be loved by people of all generations, and that's how she always knew a contestant would make it big. Her words echoed the sentiment of many, Sydney was truly exceptional. Following the airing of Sydney's audition on Britain's Got Talents, while many lauded her undeniable talent, there was also some backlash, with some labeling her involvement as a fix. This criticism stemmed not only from her performance, but from her extensive professional appearance in productions such as Starlight Express and Grease, as well as her regular appearances on E4's Stage School. This revelation prompted viewers to question the authenticity of reality shows like BGT, which were once heralded for discovering talent from everyday people. The frustration deepened when it emerged that several other acts on the show were already well known in their respective fields. Sydney, for instance, boasts a background as a stage performer, having starred in productions like Starlight Express in Bochum, Germany, and Lazarus at London King's Cross Theatre. Furthermore, other contestants, such as opera sensation Innocent Masuku, also have established careers in the performing arts. Masuku is currently gracing the London Coliseum stage in Rossini's The Barber of Seville. Similarly, contestants like Bobby Goldfin, known for his comedic routine based on goldfish memory, have significant followings on platforms like TikTok, raising questions about their status as quote-unquote amateurs. Genevieve Cote, who possesses the unique ability to create nature sounds and noises, has previously appeared on international iterations of talent shows, including Canada's Got Talent and France's version, even securing a golden buzzer. Even Alicia Dixon's golden buzzer pick, Ravi's Dream Team, has already enjoyed success with a charity single featuring notable musicians like Bastille, Damon Albarn, and Paloma Faith. These instances highlight the new era of talent shows, which now only want professional performers as their contestants, leaving no room for amateurs' raw talent. During her appearance on ITV's Lorraine, Sydney responded to the controversy raised about her background. The presenter inquired about her past, mentioning her work on cruise ships but noting her absence from the West End stage. The singer firmly stated that she hadn't ventured into West End performances. 
When asked about her aspirations, she confirmed that being a leading lady was indeed her dream. Sydney expressed how disheartening it is when she considers not pursuing the dream she's harbored since childhood. She shared how facing external barriers that prevented her from pursuing a passion felt soul-crushing. She decided to audition for Britain's Got Talent, hoping that the process might offer her a chance, as she's been striving for success for years. Despite numerous auditions and rejections over time, she felt she had little to lose by giving it a shot. Following her interview, a TV insider also clarified that Britain's Got Talent has always welcomed contestants, regardless of their prior experience. Many viewers also took the contestant's side that her experience on stage showed when she hit those high notes without an ounce of nervousness, and that wasn't necessarily a bad thing. Some even say that it was refreshing to see such a positive and confident girl who didn't try to take any sympathy with any sob stories. It was astonishing how she first made everyone laugh with her witty one-liners and later gave everyone goosebumps with her performance. After her audition was uploaded online, Sydney got herself a special fan in West End and Celebrity Big Brother star Marisha Wallace. After catching Sydney's BGT performance, Marisha couldn't contain her emotions. She hopped on Instagram and shared how Sydney's rendition of Tomorrow brought back memories of her own version released four years ago. Marisha mentioned how the song helped out struggling artists during the tough times of 2020, and when she heard that Sydney nailed it on BGT and even snagged the golden buzzer, Marisha was over the moon. Sydney, feeling all the feels, gave Marisha a shout out, thanking her for her version and calling her an idol. Marisha, in true supportive fashion, replied back telling Sydney she was proud of her. For those who are curious about Sydney's relationship status, the singer disclosed that she's in a relationship with Max Rizzo, an attractive Italian actor who also boasts a background in musical theater. Hailing from Sicily, Max shares Sydney's talent for singing and is affiliated with a management agency that scouts emerging talents. Having previously shared the stage with Sydney in the musical The Starlight Express, Max has showcased his versatility, as evident in social media snapshots where he confidently models for Calvin Klein. The standout star of Britain's Got Talent's latest season wasted no time in returning to a usual routine, even after receiving the golden buzzer. Shortly after her breathtaking audition ad, Sydney was spotted back at her job at the boutique gym One Rebel. In a gesture of appreciation to her fans and supporters, she shared a snapshot from her day job alongside a heartfelt message. She captioned the post that she's back to the grind, even after such a surreal weekend, and showed immense gratitude to her supporters. Despite her newfound fame, Sydney remained grounded and committed to her daily responsibilities. Although Sydney mentioned in her audition that this is not a job that she wants to continue in the future. For now, it seems that Sydney is focused on getting some solid gigs before she bids farewell to her day job because everyone knows reality shows don't pay anything to the contestants. The cash prizes are only reserved for the winners. After years of struggle, things seem to be working out for Sydney. She's currently leading the pack of most likely contestants to be the winner of the show. With her mesmerizing performance, Sydney has swiftly become a beloved figure among fans. Her odds have soared from 4 to 1 earlier this week to a commanding 11 to 4, positioning her as the front runner for victory, as per the latest odds from bookies William Hill. If she clinches the title, the talented star will earn the coveted opportunity to perform at the Royal Variety Show in winter 2024. This prestigious platform would allow her to show her talents to none other than King Charles himself, cementing her place among the brightest stars in the entertainment industry.